Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to make two different chia seed puddings. These are the two that I love to make the most. And uh, this is also gonna be a collab with Micah Staffer. I've done one other collab with her before in the past, and she's gonna be showing you, I think, three or four different healthy breakfast recipes. So definitely check in the description below for a link to her channel. Hi, my name is Micah, and I am so excited to be doing this collab with Bonnie. After you are done watching Bonnie's video, be sure to come check out mine. I'm gonna be doing some awesome breakfast, vegan breakfast ideas I think you guys are really going to enjoy. But yeah, let's get into the video. So for the first one, I'm kind of making like a peanut butter banana pudding. Pudding, what you're gonna need is some chia seeds, some almond milk, honey, a banana, some PB2, but if you don't have this, you can also use peanut butter or the regular PB2 without the chocolate. And then you're gonna want some walnuts, which are also optional. So to start off, what you're gonna wanna do is mash half of your banana, and then you're gonna wanna cut up or saran wrap the other half of the banana to put on when it's ready in the morning. So start off by putting your mashed banana into a cup or mason jar or whatever you're using. Then you wanna add four tablespoons of chia seeds to your mason jar. Then you wanna add one cup of almond milk. You wanna add half a tablespoon of PB2. Then you wanna place it in the fridge overnight. So once you've let it set overnight, you wanna add your bananas to the top. Crush your walnuts into small pieces and then sprinkle them on top. And then very last, you wanna drizzle a small amount of honey over top. Unless your honey is hard like mine and then just get creative. And then you're done. And for the second one, it's kind of like a recreation of pumpkin pie. So for this one, what you're gonna need is almond milk or some kind of dairy-free milk, some vanilla extract, some pecans, which are optional again. You're gonna want some pumpkin, and then I'm using pumpkin spice, but if you don't have pumpkin spice, you can mix nutmeg and cinnamon, and I think like clove, you can Google it. I found my pumpkin spice at Bogburn. You wanna start off by adding three tablespoons of pumpkin into a jar. A tip, since you don't need that much of your can of pumpkin, put three tablespoons into an individual Ziploc bag and then put it in the freezer so it stays good longer. You want half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, half a tablespoon of vanilla, three-fourths cups of almond milk. Then you want to mix it up really good. One-fourth cup chia seeds. Try not to make a mess. And then you want to stir that up really good. Then you want to place it in the fridge overnight. So once you've let it set overnight, I like to pour a tiny bit more almond milk on top. Then I add some crushed pecans to the top, and you're done. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in our next video. Bye.